There are three types of 2D template projects, mounted camera, permanent setup, moving camera, reusable setup, and moving camera, temporary setup. This tutorial covers the second, moving camera, reusable setup. The method described here is the most general and comprehensive of the three setup videos, and so this is a good place to start. First, we will set up a new project from scratch. Photo modeler is started, and a new template pattern capture project is chosen. Start by selecting a moving camera project type. Although this video describes a system for handheld or tripod mounted cameras that aren't permanently mounted on a wall or ceiling, this can be used for these permanently mounted camera setups as well. The system described here can be useful if your permanent setup changes, such as the camera mount is not stable or the table moves. You can treat your mounted camera setup as a moving camera, reusable setup for increased usability. Create the setup file that will be used for future digitization. Unless your target locations or camera changes, this step only needs to be run once. Print the 16 target pages. Mount the targets on your templating area, e.g. wall, floor, table, etc. The target sheets can be trimmed down as long as enough white space is left around the coded targets. The order of the 16 target sheets on the wall is not important, but ensure they have even spread over the area being captured. Place four of the sheets at the farthest corners of your template capture area. If this is a more permanent setup, ensure these four sheets are more firmly attached than the others. They should not move and should be flat to the surface. Do not place shiny tape on top of the coded targets. Take between 15 and 20 photos from different positions and angles. Make sure the camera moves between shots. Include some rotated, I, E, portrait and landscape, photos. If possible, take photos from all four sides of the area. Capture all targets in all photos if possible. It is okay if some targets are cut off in some photos, as long as all targets appear in at least half of the photos. Note: Ensure good lighting so there is no blur on the target photos, do not adjust the camera lens zoom, and you may need to turn off camera's auto-rotation and reduce the camera's sharpening. Take measurements between the center of the dots for the target pairs as listed in the setup dialog. The targets are identified by target ID numbers. Ensure these measurements are accurate as they will define your template scale. We will show how you can complete the base project setup yourself. For your first setup, feel free to use the send photos and measurements to photo modeler option if you wish, and we can help you get started. Next, we show the steps for creating the base project yourself. Press the run base project setup button. Load the 12 to 15 photos you took of the targets. Set the units of your measurements. Enter the distance measured between the corresponding targets. Process the images to set up the base project. The first step will detect and mark the coded dots on all images. The next step will use these marks to calibrate and solve the camera positions and lens distortion. If you have any issues with the setup contact, support at photomodeler.com. The base project is now created and stored in the same folder as the setup images. To digitize a pattern, place it in the templating area and take a reasonably straight on photo. Optionally, before you place the template, remove all but the four corner target sheets. Leaving the four corner sheets is suited to cleaner and more permanent setups. As long as these four sheets do not move you can use this area for digitization. We start the digitization from where we left off, but you can start a new pattern digitization at any time by starting Photo Modeler, creating a new template pattern capture project, choosing the moving camera option, and Ensuring the base project file you created in the previous steps is loaded in the base project field. If you will be tracing your patterns outside of Photo Modeler, select Creation of the Orthophoto and 3DM Trace Image file. Use the Digitize a New Template Pattern button and select the template photo. The template photo is processed. Select Template Lines or Curves mode to outline the template. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in. Left click to place points and outline the template. Click and hold the mouse wheel to pan. For more details see the separate video on digitizing a 2D template pattern. Once the template has been traced, use the export option to output to CAD. 
instead of tracing the template in Photo Modeler. Another option is to output an undistorted background trace image and do the tracing in CAD. The digitizing a 2D template pattern video also shows this output. Here is the digitized template displayed in our associated CAD package. This video described the method used to digitize 2D templates in a reusable setup. The method can be used with a moving camera that is handheld or on a tripod, or with a permanently mounted camera. For more details, tips, and other setup and output options, see the other videos in the 2D template and pattern capture series.